Everyone likes feeling motivated, satisfied, and happy, right? On the flip side, no one likes to feel shut down, depressed, and unmotivated. Well, there's one hormone that's responsible for these emotions, and it is called dopamine. Today, we'll be learning about what it is and how to manage it so that you feel motivated, satisfied, and overall happy. Sound good? Let's get into it. What is dopamine? So what is dopamine? Dopamine is a type of neurotransmitter in the body that's responsible for a variety of processes in the body. It plays a role in your thoughts and emotions. It reinforces positive actions by rewarding you with pleasure when you go to the gym, for example. It also plays a role in movement and arousal, as well as the regulation of different hormones and glands. But most importantly, it keeps you physically and mentally healthy. For example, low levels of dopamine can get you depressed, lower your sex drive, give you mood swings, and weight change. On the other side of the coin, if you have too much dopamine being released, you can have difficulty sleeping, mood swings on the other end, and muscle cramps. Like most other things in life, the idea is to have a balance. Balanced levels of dopamine get you concentrated, give you more energy and sex drive while also motivating you to crush it in any endeavor. So how exactly do you do it? How do you have a healthy, balanced level of dopamine? And is there really anything you can do about it? The good news is that dopamine has been so studied that we know a ton about it. So, of course, humanity has found a way to manage dopamine levels. Let's go over the seven ways to boost dopamine levels. Before we continue, we want to quickly remind you that if you're a fan of these kind of videos, you might want to consider subscribing to our channel, as we release new health and wellness content regularly. And by subscribing, you won't ever miss another video. Now let's see how to boost those dopamine levels, shall we? Number one, exercise. There's just no getting around it. There's just no health subject that doesn't include exercising in its tips. The reason is that it's just that great. Exercising gets your blood pumping and helps you carry oxygen to every part of the body. In regards to dopamine, your body releases dopamine when you exercise to reinforce the positive behavior. Not only that, but exercising has been proven to improve your mood and get you to overall be more healthy, which also boosts dopamine. You don't need to become an Olympic champion to be able to do this. More research still needs to be done in order to know exactly what type of exercise and how much you need to stress your body while exercising for optimal dopamine release, so there aren't many rules regarding how much or how little you can exercise. The idea is that you just have to do it, and even if you just do 10 push-ups today, it's better than not moving around at all. A study showed that doing yoga specifically can significantly boost your dopamine levels, but not many studies have been done on other activities so it's hard to tell if this is specifically related to the yoga itself. Do what you will, just make sure it gets you moving and you'll be set. Number two, eat well. You've probably heard the saying, no exercise can replace a bad diet. This is true in this case as well. While exercising is great and you can't put all of your eggs in one basket, don't think this lets you off the hook from eating a healthy diet. While it's true that you can have the best training routine, but if you eat McDonald's all day, you won't see the benefits much. It's also true that if you lay in bed all day but eat incredibly healthy, it's still not optimal. The best thing you can do is combine these first two tips and you'll see your health skyrocket in no time. But back to dopamine. What does eating well mean in this case? If you're following a well-balanced diet, you've probably got this down already. But let's break it down just a bit. For raising dopamine levels, eating a lot of protein is essential. Protein is made up of amino acids, and one of these amino acids is called tyrosine. Then your body does the work for you and turns said tyrosine into dopamine. Another diet tip related to dopamine is to not eat too many saturated fats. These are foods like butter, animal fats, coconut oil, and full-fat dairy products. Fats like these can cause disruptions in the dopamine release in the brain if consumed in large amounts. So in one sentence, eat well and you'll feel well. There's not much more to it. Number 3. Get enough sleep. Dopamine itself has a natural rhythm throughout the day. If you've ever studied willpower, you'll know that it's like a magic meter in a video game. As soon as you wake up in the morning, it's full. After going through your day with the many obligations, right before you go to bed, there's not a lot left. Your dopamine throughout the day follows the same pattern. It gets released in big amounts in the morning, and by night, you don't really have as much. When you have a good night's sleep, you get more dopamine released in the morning and feel more energetic and youthful throughout the day. Likewise, when it gets time for bed, your body knows to reduce the hormone release and you'll feel sleepy at night. Dopamine itself is also associated with the feeling of wakefulness, so you'll be able to wake up and get out of bed easier, but also fall asleep easier at night. When you don't get enough sleep, these rhythms get disrupted, 
and you're either sleepy during the day or uneasy during the night. A sub-tip you can use here is if you don't have enough time to sleep in a single night, you can maximize the quality of the sleep itself by getting an eye mask or having good curtains so it's completely dark. That way you'll sleep deeper and will feel way more refreshed in the morning. Number 4. Listen to music. One of the more fun ways to stimulate dopamine release in the body is to listen to music that you love. Every time a song either gives you chills or makes you feel any strong emotion, your dopamine levels rise up to 9% just from that. This happens because music itself stimulates activity in the brain, making it subconsciously recognize all the different notes and harmonies, and it's like exercise for your brain. But it doesn't just work with music. Another type of exercise for your brain can be reading. Any book that triggers a strong emotion in you is a great way to get in a little extra dopamine. It's like when you watch a movie that really motivates you. That's because dopamine is released in your brain. This is also the reason why people listen to music in the gym. Number 5. Stay in the sun. Dopamine is called the happy hormone for a reason. All of these tips are not only to raise dopamine, but to be happier in general. Another such tip is to get enough sunlight exposure. If you've ever heard the expression, you brightened up my day, that's the reason. The sun literally brightens up your day, which in turn raises dopamine levels. Studies have shown that in countries with less sunlight, a substantial amount of the population is more likely to be closed off or depressed, while in brighter countries, people are way more open and communicative. You can probably guess that being more open leads to more pleasure and dopamine gets released that way. Sunlight also boosts most neurotransmitters, so dopamine is also stimulated like this directly. If you've noticed, there's a pattern here. Most of these stimulate dopamine either directly or by raising your mood and energy levels, which in turn stimulates it. The interesting part is that it's not just the sunlight. Studies have shown that people who go to tanning beds also have an increased dopamine level. It's hard to say whether it has any connection to the type of light you're exposed to or just the fact that you're happy for getting more tan, so you want to repeat the behavior. But whichever it is, if it works, it works. Number 6. Supplements The truth is, some people are born with a type of brain chemistry that makes it easier for them to release dopamine. There are types of people that struggle with the management of dopamine levels more than others. For these kinds of people, if all else fails, there are always supplements. Let's repeat. Supplements, not medicine. If you pop a few pills of medicine to increase dopamine levels, you'll soon find yourself to be even worse off in the long term. But food-based supplements and some probiotics from time to time won't do you harm. Dopamine is affected by some nutrients more than others. For example, vitamin B6, iron, niacin, and folate. It's a good idea to take some supplements in these if you have a deficiency, as this could help your situation. Iron deficiency is especially dangerous, so you might want to keep an eye open for it. In fact, we have a whole video on iron deficiency and what it leads to, which will be left down in the description below. Definitely don't get too caught up in using supplements, but they are a good addition to a healthy diet, hence the word supplement. Number 7. Meditate And last, but definitely not least, we have meditation. Meditation, like exercising, is also one of the things that are mentioned a lot when it comes to health. That's because it just plain works. Remember how listening to music that gives you the chills increases dopamine levels by 9%. Studies have shown that if you're experienced enough, an hour of meditation can increase your dopamine levels by 65%. Meditation is used to calm the mind and ground yourself, and is a great tool not only to raise dopamine, but to rest and connect with your inner self as well. And there you have it, health lovers. This is what you need to know about dopamine and how to manage it. If you found this video helpful, definitely leave it a thumbs up as more people will get to see it. And also subscribe to the channel as we release new videos regularly and that way you'll be notified when we do. If you have any suggestions on video topics you'd like us to cover, leave them down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.